Every day, Uzbek bakers hand roll and stamp 8,000 loaves of bread. Shaped like wheels, these loaves are dense and chewy, with a golden crust and an airy crumb. Weighing in at 1.5 kilos, they are often eaten in groups and shared around the dinner table. While you can find countless varieties of this bread across Uzbekistan, the most legendary loaves are baked in the city of Samarkand. Here, bread is sacred and made with the utmost care. We visited Samarkand to see how the loaves are made and what it takes to bake such big batches. Making the loaves begins by combining 62 kilograms of flour, water, salt and yeast into a mechanical mixer. After about 40 minutes, the dough is taken out, kneaded and left to rise for four hours. The dough is then cut into 1.5 kilo bowls, which are then left to rest and rise for another hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> One bowl is three and a half times the weight of an average American loaf of bread. Once the dough has risen, it is ready to be shaped. This is where master bread maker Davronov Okun comes in. He has been making bread for eight years and can make 600 loaves a day during his 12-hour shift. Similar to scoring bread before baking, workers use needle tip mappas to create small punctures in the center of the loaf. When the bread is cooked, steam is able to escape from these holes and prevent the center from rising. While the bread waits, giant tandoor ovens are heated. But there's more behind this course than just function. These patterns are also decorative and are used as a way for bakers to add their signature. Once a loaf has been rounded and stamped, sesame seeds are pressed into the center of the bread. Once hot, they're sprayed with water and brought down to a more ideal temperature. Keeping the oven at the right temperature is done entirely by feel, and it is one of the most important parts of the baking process. Before the bread is slapped inside the oven, bakers rub a small amount of water on the bottom of the loaf so it can better stick to the walls of the tandoor. Using a cloth to clutch the bread, 
bakers dive headfirst into the oven, sticking loaf after loaf until every square inch of the oven is filled. But this acrobatic baking doesn't come without risk. Each of these ovens can fit around 56 large loaves or up to 72 small ones at a time. Because of the oven's high temperature, these breads only need a few minutes to cook. When the core is crisp and the sides have puffed, the bread is ready to be scooped out. Unlike conventional ovens used in the West, Tandoor ovens retain heat for longer periods of time and require less fuel. Once baked, the breads are loaded onto delivery trucks and driven to the local bazaar. The use of vertical ovens like these is believed to come from the Semitic peoples who spread across the Middle East and Central Asia. Because of its unmatched taste, legend has it that the air of Samarkand is what gives this bread its unique texture and flavor. Beyond its distinct taste, this bread is also symbolic. Jan loaves are often split in half during wedding ceremonies to symbolize the unity between families. And Uzbek children are often taught to pick up bread from the floor so that a single crumb never goes to waste. Fresh baked bread is typically savored with butter and jam. And after a few days, the firmer loaves are broken into chunky bits for dipping in hot soups and gravy. Beyond its distinct taste, this bread is also symbolic. Jan loaves are often split in half during wedding ceremonies to symbolize the unity between families. So if you ever need one sent by mail or plan to travel for an extended period of time, this might be the best bread for you. Thanks for watching.